crimp. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining us. Today we're going to be working on my Volkswagen Polo and we're going to be detailing and cleaning it up after a track day. So stick with us and let's show you how we get it done. So I like to take the wheels off just so that you can get in everywhere because you really need to clean inside by the shock and around the wheel, around the side shafts and the wishbones um, just to get all the, all, the, all the muck and the dust off and any caked up pieces of rubber so inside the wheel well um, the calipers and everything um, this is also especially prevalent for um, doing inspections to make sure that nothing is cracked and and uh, or broken or rubbing or something like that so it's really important that you check it out and also obviously we take the wheels off and we clean the wheels um, you can see the wheels just generally pick up these pieces of rubber. So these are generally just from tire wear. So the wheels pick up that rubber on the inside and we like to clean that off obviously and then obviously all the brake dust and whatever that's on the wheels. So take the wheels, get the carp on the on the jack stands, take the wheels off and um, that way you can also get underneath the car and um, get all the oil and any any other bits of shit that's on there. Get it off. All right, detergents. What are we using? Let's see. So I'm using Dirt Nurse's Climax uh, car wash, just to wash the car. Um, it's like a wash and wax, and it leaves a uh, it leaves a really nice finish wax finish after you've washed it so you don't have to then go and polish the car as well afterwards so especially in between heats rather during the day um, it gives the car a nice clean sheen a nice finish um, and really pops and, and shines so really good product I highly recommend that for for the stubborn stuff I use the hardcore degreaser the yellow stuff Okay, it works really well. It's a water-based solution, so it's not a um, it's not a mineral-based solution, so it's not harmful to the environment, and it actually cuts the grease really well. So we're going to use that on the wheels, the engine bay, and the uh, the wheel arches and all of that, and all the stubborn areas. And then for the for the actual shell of the car, we're going to use the the car wash. Uh, shampoo, so let's get stuck in. Okay, so what I like to do first is wash everything off with a hose pipe, rinse the car off, just to get any uh, residual dust or caked up mud off of the car before you start washing it, obviously. So we're also going to wash the engine bay in this case and um, what we're going to do is um, just be careful of your electrical components when you rinse off the engine bay I've covered up the alternator with a uh, plastic bag just so that there's an excess of water going inside the internals of the alternator so just be very conscious of that same as with plugs 
The same goes for your shock absorbers. So like don't sit and actually don't sit with the hose pipe and spray into the seal of the shock absorber obviously because then you're going to get you're going to penetrate the seal with water especially if you're using a high pressure cleaner. So just keep the cleaner at a fair distance to spray off the residual dirt in that once the once the detergent's done its thing. So just be conscious of uh, use your brain. Don't be stupid. Just um, be conscious of trying to spray too much water in critical components. Same with the CV joints, uh, bearings, electrical components, such the like. So. Okay, so when you are washing the rims, okay, especially with the detergent, I would avoid spraying too much on the actual tire face itself okay especially if it's a mineral based detergent because it can affect the tire compound so if you're racing in a very competitive series and um, or you're chasing lap times doing time attacks whatever um, and tires are absolutely critical to your lap time or your consistency um, it's, it's, you don't want it to affect the tire so what I generally do is I just spray around and then turn over the tire spray on the inside of the tire uh, inside of the rim to avoid any uh, over contamination Normally water gets caked up in the back there um, and you have to watch out for this water collecting in certain areas especially near co electrical components so make sure you get rid of that water so I've just uh, got a little syringe a little piece of hose on it and I use that just to suck up the residual water lying there um, just to make sure that nothing gets soaked in water that doesn't need to So once we've done that, we just generally clean the doors, the interior, and then we go ahead and clean the floor at the back. Again, when you're cleaning, you can do um, inspections. Just keep your eyes open for any cracks or anything loose that you might find. 
Um, that's also quite a critical part of this whole process is just to make sure that um, there is nothing either loose, cracked, broken or on the way out. If you do do this all the time you'll constantly pick up things and it being either a track day car or a race car um, components inevitably break that's just the nature of the game so um, you really have to keep your eyes open for all these little things so really worthwhile doing and you have a bit of fun as well I know it's a bit of a funny thing but having the interior of your car clean and smelling good is actually a really big part of uh, being quick and the reason for that in my opinion is that um, the driver needs to be very comfortable in his space so he needs to feel at home comfortable in the seating position but also comfortable that the car is set up perfectly and there's no issues at the back of his mind because driving lap times or just having fun is a very mental game so you need to be it's very important that you're confident in your car and happy in your happy place because this is essentially your office that you spend a lot of your time and a lot of your faith you put a lot of faith into the car and the chassis so it's very important that you feel at home and making making it look and smell good is a very big part of that so I'm using another dirt nurse product it's a it's a detailing uh, agent that's uh, it cleans surfaces but it also gives it a nice smell and it's UV protectant so um, we're just going to clean up the dash here, clean up all this area. That is a wrap guys, thank you so much for watching. We didn't really get everything done that we wanted to, obviously because we got caught up in the rain and I had to rush and get everything back inside. Normally I would clean the inside of the wheel as well and just take off all those rubber bits. I'm gonna do that, but I'm not gonna do it now, I'm running out of time. So um, yeah, I would suggest doing that as well, just go through the wheels, go through all the bearings. When the car's up on jacks, make sure you just go through the bearings, check the brakes, check the bearings, check the bushes, check everything just part of your general maintenance um, it's like I said it's critical to do all this stuff and the sooner you can pick up little issues the sooner you can get it uh, fixed because the last thing you want is spend all that money get onto the circuit on the race day or on your track day and something breaks you know that is the last thing and in my, in my opinion that's poor preparation so while you're busy cleaning keep your eyes open for all the stuff that could be going wrong generally it's not a problem you kind of start to slowly pick up okay something's going wrong with the brakes or the bearings or the engine or whatever the case may be sometimes you just have failures but it's a really good time to once again thank you so much for watching um, that's how i do it let me know how you do it right down in the comments below maybe you guys do it differently maybe who knows you know there's one way of doing it and that's how i do it so um, if you like this video please hit the like button consider subscribing with a lot more content coming and I'm very excited about the future, it's looking really good and lots of fun. I'm planning to enter a couple of races with this car later this year. Um, I'm not sure exactly when and what races we're going to do, but the aim is really just to have a bit of fun this year with this car. We're planning a future, a couple of future builds. With those cars we might also enter a few races or we, we might just keep them as track day cars, but it really just depends. Why don't you guys let me know what you guys would like to see in terms of content. Would you like to see some more work on this car or would you like to see us expand and and look at other vehicles obviously budget's always an issue as you when you're starting out on a new channel um, but that's just how it goes you know we uh, we might just carry on with this but we are trying to um, secure some more uh, really nice builds so keep your eyes posted for that and thank you very much for watching we'll see you guys next time peace Brother, it's caught in the crossfire. Oh. Oh.